Hi, uh, Romi Shivastu here, editor and chief side speakers. Welcome to our YouTube channel. Please do subscribe to us for the HR news, for HR updates, and uh, conversation with our class teachers. Today, we are going to talk about the modern onboarding process. Like other HR process, the onboarding is also getting evolved with the time. And some emerging technologies like metaverse, uh, like augmented uh, reality, like virtual reality, uh, some artificial intelligence and uh, chat GPT, etc. These uh, emerging technologies are uh, making the onboarding process smooth, uh, much happening, and uh, providing better experience to the candidates. Last year, the Accenture uh, had started the onboarding process uh, with the uh, metaverse. Mondage also started the uh, onboarding process with the Metaverse, with the partnership of Microsoft. So to discuss in detail uh, how these technologies are uh, making the onboarding process uh, better, uh, today uh, we have a panel of two senior HR leaders. Let me introduce uh, Mr. Sachin Manutra. Sachin is currently working as Director of Human Resources, Global People Operations at uh, Smith Group. And uh, Ms. Tulana Hina Mati, is working as president and uh, national head HR for the shared services policy program and uh, strategy at SPI. So, Sachin, if I come to you first, so uh, what is the modern onboarding process and how do you uh, differentiate this with the traditional onboarding? I think before we go to the question, um, there's a fundamental conceptual way to think about it is that why are we even talking about the future or the modern onboarding uh, you know platforms and technology and i think one of the bigger uh, fundamental reason come out is that how are we making our onboarding very inclusive and when i say inclusive we're not talking about the diversity inclusion but how do we involve every part and parcel of our employee pyramid into the similar experience of what we want to give them as an as an in the onboarding part you know, be it a senior leader or a middle management or a junior management or a shop floor person around it. And I think just to to answer these kind of questions, it's it's the technology which will have to take over. Uh, you know, how do we bring them into the similar platform? And what I feel is that there's a lot of challenge right now on the ground of how do we give that experience to our people, most of it which is coming out to be virtual after the COVID time. Um, and and I, I guess what better answer to then is to these great development by the technology organizations, be it AI, machine learning, and and the metaverse. Uh, you know, picking up example, you 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 know share the right example. You know, Accenture and other organization like BMW have already started experimented it a year or two years back. And the reason for that was that how do they give that people experience to be part of their office by a part you know part of their shop flows if you're from a manufacturing. Uh, industry like me, or even considering, you know, to to share people way before then where they are even entering the film, you know, the physical premise of it. Uh, and you know, if I pick up my example, it's you know we call it as onboarding 2.0. Uh, you know, because we have got sites like in Mexico, and you know where we want people to be sitting in Japan to experience how our factory in Mexico works in. Uh, you know, we are not going to be affording for people to be traveling to just see that experience. So what better way is to just bring them virtually in there. Uh, so I think I think technology is being being the biggest uh, part and parcel of our enablement into this. And, uh, uh, you know, that's how I see it. One of the also a very bigger reason for that is that uh, if I talk about the manufacturing industry where HSE is a very, very high in demand, you know, the health and safety comes quite high. It also makes it quite viable for us to look into it. You know, I, I pick up an example from my previous organization where we were into the power rental where we have our, our engineers who get into these megawatts of generators to 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 experience and learning that. And I think we use the virtual reality. There was no word called metaverse five years back, uh, but probably we were on the same concept using a virtual reality to train our, our you know, new engineers on how to operate into it without even investing too much into their you know in, into their safety uh, when it comes to the concerning around that so you know i i see that way the technology is going to be the biggest enablement but outside metaverse we will have probably more topics we'll be discussing on how do we use our ais and machine learning engines to have the right buddy programs coming in how do we look into the engaging the people by by i would say giving them over information 
then less information because you know there are so many case studies where you provide over information at the time of onboarding is directly related to a less iteration because it's always good to share with people on what's happening around it. So, you know, so that's how I see that way, Ramesh. Yeah, so Ramesh, now, so uh, what are your initial comments on this? And if you can also respond on uh, that, what are the challenges uh, in onboarding uh, currently? See, I would want to uh, clarify this in a layman's language, saying the modern uh, onboarding uh, just technically uh, tells us that um, it has to be more inclusive. It has to be something which has to do with uh, getting people together in a more engaged manner to have a personalized um, entry into the organization. So earlier, what used to happen, we were focusing more on, let's say, paperwork, getting the, uh, you know, getting the tick in the box, uh, getting uh, certain, you know, mandatory trainings right, and just, just ensuring that the person has A, B, C, D, E, all logistics in place. Uh, but uh, with the advent of uh, technologies, or let's say with the advent of um, how one needs to get productive, uh, you know, earlier, the process of modern uh, onboarding requires um, faster uh, people entering the organization and faster start of work. So with the help of technologies, with the help of better engagement, with the help of uh, let's say, uh, how do I call it, with the help of a better environment, um, how do we ensure that employees join and their experiences are much, much better? So that's what on modern onboarding is. I, I would not want to call it modern onboarding. I would rather want to call it an improvised way of onboarding. I would want to call it uh, a more productive way of onboarding. Uh, because what is old and what is new, what is modern and what is vintage, you know, I, I don't want to classify on those. So for me, um, modern onboarding is nothing, but simply a better way of onboarding um, candidates who will stick around with the organization with a better employee experience as an employee with a better experience. Challenges? Well, many. Like, uh, um, like it has already been mentioned, uh, that overload of information. That's a major challenge. What we try to do during the onboarding induction is just feed in, feed in, feed in, so that the, the candidate or the employee who's become just now gets all the information. We try to do our work all on time. But um, that also becomes a little bit of time consuming because the, the employee, the new joiner, is overwhelmed. And hence... Uh, maybe the engagement also becomes lesser and it's it's a vicious cycle you know when the engagement is lesser then uh, the information gathering is not so uh, it's not so efficient and hence uh, the with me what is in it for me gets diluted um, what uh, does not come across correctly is uh, what is my job role exactly okay fine i know you're trying to tell me everything about the organization which is fine but uh, where do I stand in this organization? That bit of personalized uh, message uh, does get diluted. Um, that bit of, okay, what do I need to do next gets diluted in the barrage of information. So so I see a lot of information download. I see a lot of time consuming. I see it is, there is less engagement. And at times, you know, we actually forget to take the real voice of the new joiners who are more like ambassadors from outside they've just joined from outside they, they have seen the outside world they are like our competition so we we sometimes also forget to take their feedback to say okay so what is it that you're feeling yeah absolutely uh, candidate experience is very important so Sachin uh, uh, we talked about uh, some of the emerging technologies like uh, metaverse like uh, augmented reality uh, virtual reality so uh, if we connect with the metaverse so how this technology of metaverse is helping uh, to uh, make the candidate experience better and how it make the uh, process onboarding process uh, smooth. What I feel, Ramesh, from my perspective also, and I think it's also some sometime which is related to the industry one, is any of the digital onboarding cannot be static. You know, it has to have that engagement factor into picture because that's the only way it would be a more successful onboarding process for any organization. And I think, uh, you know, Imagine a very static call on a Teams when you're onboarding with policies and procedures and talking about where this office is. It's it's just going to be a one-sided affair for the organization to to you know who are telling their new hires on where we are. And that's where this particular technology comes more into picture, which is 
you know you bring the reality in 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 real you know but looking into the virtual way um, and you know we also need to understand that how are we hiring what's our age trend in the market where generation z's are the ones we are targeting most of the organization you know think about i always love to give this example it's a sunday to a monday experience you know you're on a weekend where you are on your phones and your otts and such a good experience you're getting at home with the major players in the market and then you come to your office on monday and you probably are looking at that old technology of 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 working which which always make people you know in you know disengaged and that's how this whole virtual reality or metaverse again comes into picture you know if you pick up uh, you know example of walmart which which and you know bank of america so probably distributed around thousands and thousands of the vr headset not as a part just from the onboarding but also the flow training which is eventually the part of onboarding in the first three months for walmart is you know they wanted their people to be understanding on how to walk in the store how do you interact you know where do you pick it up and it actually was directly very much linked to how they were seeing the performance of this particular set of onboarding people who were giving that reality you know by sitting at their home against the people where they were time you know which was so time consuming on at the store when they were walking through it and and you know let's not forget that you know this is something which needs to be you know republished again and again for us to have a betterment of how this training program has been so people could go through to their recorded versions and probably watch it on what they have learned rather than just seeing it and then you know forgetting it after a few weeks and i'm i'm sure you there are more example but you know what i've heard about like you said accenture you have ups walmart in us and also bank of america who has actually successfully been been driving into it um if if i also want to talk about the challenge i think the major challenge is the cost which is associated with it on if whether the roi is coming out to be clearly at this moment of time that's the biggest question which gets asked when we are looking into any of such implementation um, um, you know but but at the end of the day these are programs which are not done for the current uh, you know setup only these are very futuristic program which helps you to kind of return into the rois into that way uh, from a metaverse perspective i think also on to the ais and and chat gpts uh, you know i am feeling that it's going to be a very productive way of us to be interacting with any of the people who are you know i i consider them more as a pre boarding uh, tools where where we can use it better but i'm not also denying the fact that they can't be used for onboarding but um, like to your example is you know how do we pass information proactively for the people who are not still in the organization how do you market it how do you do it through the bot bot perspective and how do you just keep uh, the the right news given to the right people to or the or the candidate to have your marketing done uh, you know you, you can link it to buddy programs where you know we do that very much often that you know before the candidate is even joining us in the organization they know who is their buddy going to be you know so it it gives them that flavor of 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 comfort it gives them a, a flavor of welcoming uh, you know by by not having chats or phone calls but actually interacting through a bot or 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 through a very distinctive way of what we can do into two ways communication so i think i think that's a very practical ways of looking at it and and you know we have seen it in the 30 days or 90 days surveys of our onboarding or new hires who you know who have been praising about some of these processes which has been used from a technology perspective where it's helped them so much on the ground in reality absolutely technology uh, has very important role in onboarding but there is also another aspect it is the human touch Uh, there is the some professional values because there is also a movement of uh, uh, emotions. So, Tulanena, uh, I would like to know how we can keep a human touch during uh, automated uh, onboarding process. I think all organizations, uh, whether in India or uh, wherever in the globe, they are all in the transition phase of using the technology. I think this is the best phase where we are manual as well as you know tech driven so what do we do we use the let's say the chat gpt um for creating chatbots or for interacting uh, through chatbots uh, for new joiners or maybe we using the ai to completely automate the paperwork or maybe we are using the metaverse to create a virtual onboarding um scenario where the employee or the new joiner can actually have a virtual tour of the offices and this is mostly useful for um organizations who have offices across the countries across globes or even across cities for that matter 
or maybe we use the um, the AR VR for a simulated work environment to say uh, how is it that your first day at work or on regular day at work will look like. So your let's say let's say for example in a bank you are a cashier you joined as a cashier a, a teller and uh, just a just a visual experience simulated experience of how does what does a cashier do a teller do throughout the day. So these are to be used in supplement to the onboarding process of um, let's say guided by human touch as such in mentioned the body concept the mentorship concept always works fine so that's where you get you still need to continue to get the human touch you need not completely outsource it to a chatbot saying hi i am your uh, virtual buddy and you know then you lose those touch so you have to constantly combine do a hybrid model of uh, tech, tech plus the human touch only then it works fine only then i am sure it touches the heart Still, we have a couple of minutes. So, Sachin, would like to share anything else uh, which is important and uh, we did not discuss as your final comment. I think just to um, build up on it, uh, you're so right because, uh, you know, let's not take the technology which is replacing the human resources, for, you know, that, that human of the human resources should always be there, you know, whether today or whether in the future. But you can imagine that how much a candidate or a new hire get frustrated if you spend the first two or three days of filling those 40 page of forms across their onboarding process where you could have actually used that time to for them to interact with the human on the ground so that's where you know to your point Ramesh is use the technology you know bring the chat GPT bring the the, the mechanics of, of you know onboarding these employees with zero paperwork so that it becomes an easiness so that the people on the ground and the new hires on the ground get more time to interact with the department, the you know your leaders and your ex experience on the ground. What usually happens is that if the processes are not too much automated, you're actually spending around three to four days of them to just got onboarded, you know, with those paperwork. And and you know, I'm sure you will agree. It, you know, I don't even remember when was the last time I filled a forty day forty uh, page forms with with my hand. You know, my hand start training if I write one page of it. And I've I've seen there where people get frustrated and say, no, I can't, you know, fill in the form which has got so much of detail. And this is all the repeated it. I know it's a very operational minor level, but these are the experiences what you give to your candidate who becomes your new employee to say, all right, they have joined the right organization. They know where to spend our, our valuable time rather than spending something which is on the administrative level. And and then you think about the futuristic. I mean they cannot be an organization who is looking too much into the metaverse and 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 their base HR processes are not even talking about uh, you know you know non papers processes which is on the ground of reality right now. Any of your uh, final comments, Tolona? Yeah, if I just may add uh, also to summarize. See, we humans, uh, we are built to socialize. Um, we are built to use uh, the environment and whatever comes along with it including the technology for our benefit so imagine um, yourself or uh, myself or anybody for that matter going into a new environment a new circumstances we would want to settle down we would want to feel uh, the environment we would want to make it a conducive one so that uh, we feel more comfortable so all humans need to be given some time to be able to settle down to be able to uh, to be able to uh, gather uh, the nuances of the environment and technology can only assist or supplement or complement that that experience that feeling uh, of um, a b c d e so whilst it is very important that we do not do paperwork for us um, in banks you know there are certain mandatory paperwork but that we still have to do because they are regulatory so we make it as minimal to that and the rest obviously is all online but um, these experiences which are virtual these experiences which are simulated just adds on to make the employee feel or to make the new joiner feel um, and give a vision, uh, give a, uh, you know, exposure of what is going to come, uh, you know, in future. Um, right. My personal right. view is, my personal take is we should not make it too overwhelming, too much for the person to, to, to gasp in the first two, three days. It has to be a step up. Uh, you know, uh, program like Sachin already mentioned, a 30, a 60, a 90 day to see, okay, fine, at the end of 90 days, what we wanted to give to you, we've given enough. Um, so once it's step up, once technology is used as a, as a supplement or as a complement, and once the new joiner is given a personalized experience, which is agile and fast paced, I think the work is done. 
So after the discussion, if I try to conclude, so uh, hybrid onboarding, that is the mix of technology and human touch. So that is the modern onboarding. And uh, uh, thank you so much, Sachin and uh, Tulanahina for sharing your uh, wonderful thoughts and being the part of this discussion.